the Power of Poison exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Yesterday on Here's Why, we talked about why we get lake effect snow here in West Michigan. But this today, we're going to talk about why that lake effect snow is so much worse for other places in the country. Look at Buffalo's forecast. This is our sister station, Storm Team 2. They're forecasting two plus feet in the Buffalo area, and that could even go higher by the time this weekend is all said and done. So what makes their system different from what we're seeing here in West Michigan? Well, as we talked about with lake effect snow, you need warm lake water, you need cold air over the land, and you need cold air in the atmosphere for those winds to interact with. With the cold winds blow over that warm lake water, the moisture rises out of the lake, it condenses into clouds and it forms, of course, those lake effect snow bands, which cause so much havoc across the region. So what's different between us and Buffalo? Well, let's look at those ingredients. The air in the atmosphere, 14 in Ludington, the forecast for tomorrow, 14 in Buffalo, the forecast for tomorrow. That's about the same. Water temperatures, we're seeing 40s, some 50s on Lake Michigan. Over toward Buffalo, water temperatures about the same, just slightly warmer. So no differences yet. What about wind forecast? Cast. This is all the same too. 20 to 30 miles per hour here in West Michigan, 20 to 30 miles per hour in Buffalo. The difference comes in something called fetch. That's the distance across the lake or the amount of time and distance we have to generate the snow. In West Michigan, that's about 90 miles in current conditions. Over in Buffalo, almost two and a half times more, 237 miles across the lake for those winds to travel, picking up even more moisture and even more snow. And that's why they're looking at several feet and we're only looking at about a foot. All right, Michael, thank you. It's